welcome Winsome Ones. My name is Heather and today we are looking at ways to reduce the cost per wear of items in your wardrobe. This is a topic that is very close to my heart and it really lies at the heart of what my channel is about, one of the main focuses of my channel. So I really am interested in choosing items well and then having them for a very long time so that you can actually have a low cost per wear. And I have learned some techniques over the years from making mistakes, as well as actually from learning from those mistakes and then doing the right thing. And I would just like to share those key strategies with you today. So I have five outfits to show you today. And each of the outfits, you've probably seen them before if you're a regular viewer of this channel or you're going to be seeing them more and more into the future. I really do mean what I say when I say that low cost per wear is really important. We all get the doldrum from time to time when it comes to our clothing and putting outfits together. And I think it's really important to just know how to avoid the pitfalls as well as how to actually direct yourself so that you can have a low cost per wear of items in your wardrobe so that you can make many outfits and get the joy from your clothes and shoes and bags and belts and scarves and coats. Get the best. Look for the highest quality pieces. Put price aside for the moment while you freely explore this concept. Get the items that you will love and will go with existing pieces. Make sure new items qualify for valuable wardrobe real estate. By having a high standard, you will ensure you limit the number of pieces and each item will be worn more often. Pay the least. Now it's time to think about the reality of cost. Set up the Karma Chrome extension on your laptop or phone when you do online shopping. Be patient, shop the sales and wait for the price reductions. Look for your dream items in consignment stores or charity shops. Keep your standards high, but pay the least for these high quality items. Record the number of times you wear each item. Pack away low cost per wear items and keep high cost per wear items in your wardrobe so you're more likely to wear them. Experiment with other ways to wear each piece with existing items. Since keeping records, I now have data. My perception of how often I wore an item is actually inflated. I don't wear it as often as I thought I did. Keep a record of the number of times you wear each item. I got these sandals eight years ago and they cost me $100. It took me eight years to get the cost per wear down to $1. It takes longer than you realize. I have found I wear each item about 10 times a year. It takes about 10 years to get the cost per wear down to $1. So this knowledge is power. Keeping track of my rate keeps me on track and keeps me from overbuying because I remember these cost per wares in my head. Choose wisely. Be honest with yourself about how often you will wear each item. Only get it if you will wear it at least 30 times or whatever number fits with you. Have a set of criteria and only get it if it meets all or most of the criteria. I feel like there's so much more I could say on this topic, but I am just trying to keep it simple. So I have an abundance of other notes that I also put together and I'll just share them with you quick, quickly. So you can ask yourself some crucial questions when you're actually bringing in a new piece into your wardrobe. What will I wear it with? How often will I wear it? How versatile is it? As in, how many different ways can I wear it? Is it high quality? Another key point for me is to be comfortable being an outfit repeater. It is not a crime 
the fashion police are not going to come along and put you in jail if you actually wear an item more than once on the same occasion or if you wear the same outfit more than once. The French have what's known as a style uniform. Many stylists would recommend that you develop a style uniform. <laughs> So I just think it's really about making sure that you are the gatekeeper to your own wardrobe and that you only bring in those items that you really know you will wear on repeat and then do that. I find for me it's the doldrums. It's once I've worn something around about 20 times, it's really hard to push through and just to go a little bit further. So what I do at times like that is I just maybe pack it away for a little while and then if I don't see it for a few months then it's almost like having a new item again. I also go on Pinterest, um, look on the internet, I have a subscription to a Vogue magazine, I actually get inspired, I look at YouTube videos of influencers that I admire and then I actually get inspired and think about different ways that I can wear an item. Sometimes too, when I am in the shops and I'm literally being a gatekeeper and I look at items and I think, no, I have something similar to that already. So there's no point in me getting this new item when it's then going to compete for cost per wear with the existing item. And because I do keep records, I know what my current cost per wear is of that particular item. And, you know, the item that I'm looking at in the shop, I think, no, the item that's at home, I've got worn that 25 times and I really want to wear it another five times before my cost per wear gets down to $3 or whatever. So having this information really does help me a lot. Anyway, it's just some things to think about. Please write your comments in the comment section below. I really do love to hear from you and I really do want to start this conversation. And if you would like me to do some more videos on this, then I most certainly will and we can take a deep dive into it. So we're continuing on with our Fashion Influences series and I do hope that you will join me next week. We're doing the last little bit and next week we're going to be looking at the inspirational style of Queen Letizia of Spain. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Bye.